Welcome to another video, another day out, and another day in the life of the whole family vlogs. So today we are, we come to you from a little place, or what we thought was a little place, um, called Cobb Tree Manor Park. Um, so Cobb Tree Manor Park is over 50 acres of parkland. Uh, which displays a diverse and a maturing collection of trees and shrubs standing on the site of the old Maidstone Zoo which is strange because I didn't even I never had a clue that there used to be a zoo in Maidstone but there you go uh, so it's got a play area um, sculptures trails pic picnic areas and a calf serves hot and food um, we unfortunately the downside was when we arrived um, like most places nowadays they've got um, height restriction on the gates um, as you come in um, so we had to ring up uh, and get the, the the park warden come down to open the gate for us um, so that was handy and he was ever so nice about it he did come down and do it so we're in we're gonna have a look around see what's here um, you're coming along too so we'll see you in a bit can't get on it maybe because you ever thought you're not supposed to with skates on ah. Ah. we've got kenzie's gonna be um yeah, I don't really don't know how well this is going to go, guys. <laughs> go <ahead. laughs> That's what you get when you do wrong <laughs> Is that what you did with that one? <laughs> so she refused to skate down the hill. So she's holding onto the back of my chair instead. It's vibrating on my feet. <laughs> what is gravel? You can't go across that bit, can you? <laughs> <laughs> so, I have to admit, um, what, 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 we are on, what's the date today? What the, f what the 20th of September. And can can't knock the weather at the moment. It's, it's gorgeous. Look at it, look, clear sky. Look at that. You can't ask for any better than that. Well, you can, but. You probably won't get it. So we're going to go and have a look at, see what else obviously is here. Apparently there's 57 acres, which is a, a lot of acres. Squirrel. Oh yeah, squirrel, dragonfly. Don't know if I'll, 
gonna have to get to a squirrel quick enough. Right, look. I mean, we can't actually ask for it and then you... Can he I... He dropped his conker. Can I change my shoes? Because there's loads of trees that I can find. Yeah, I've got them right. Can I agree a minute? Well, like I did sorting out... Uh, I was just spotted something over here. Like, this looks really cool. So... Look at that guys. I think it's made out of Oh yeah, it is made out of concrete. Yeah, we're gonna definitely be watching this bit. That's fine, there's no problem, I'll get down. Come on then. Come on then. Ah. Come on then. Ah. <laughs> Come on then, right down. Gotcha. <laughs> 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 we found. I don't know who made it, I don't know whether the rangers made it or whether a group of kids or something or maybe the scouts have been up here and made it but there's a little, a little hut which is really cool it's good to see that people are still kind of using the stuff around them to make things so it's really cool they make their little, their little seats outside do some camping Looks really good. We have come into the old oh gold. This is really bumpy. We've come into the woodland walk. I think there's like two walks. Uh, oh, he's bumpy. There's some in my wheelchair because my legs have been really cutting out the last few days. Um, it's like a woodland walk, and it's really bumpy. Oh god, this is really bumpy, isn't it? Yeah. This is really bumpy. Yeah. As you can see, Lee's struggling with the bumpiness as well. Okay, check. Okay, check. Oh. oh, careful. Where's Kenzie? Kenzie's, Kenzie's over there. Kids are loving life in the woods kids have just gone into the deep dark forest it's not yeah. exactly a deep dark forest is it there's something on there kenzie's there lurking in the woods <laughs> this is what home ed's all about guys just Getting out into the nature. There's all this beauty around you. I'm happy. You're happy? I love the nature. You love nature, do you? And, and did anyone come to try and attack us? I'm like, I'm way over the head with my legs lost. Kenzie and Katie are just running off, having fun, <laughs> enjoying life. Katie gets up to the hill and then she decides, nope, I can't get down. I don't know where he's gone. He's obviously gone somewhere and left her. Has he left you? Has he left you? Huh? Has he left you? Yeah. Has he left you? He's over there. He's gone over there. You see, he's gone exploring. He's gone exploring. Go find him. That's the perfect place for you. Is this a forest for the big Oh, is this like forest for the Yeah. You do like things in the forest and stuff like that, like learn to light fires and stuff. 
build the huts like that. Katie is going to attempt ah. the one legged log stand. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's try again. Right, on your marks, get set, go. Oh. Not bad. Ah, that, well, that, <laughs> It was okay. Go on, do it for longer. <laughs> it's harder because it's on a hill. You should have better balance than that being doing Taekwondo. <laughs> Four seconds. <laughs> oh, I think it's because I'm swinging my arm. Yeah. Put your arms out like Just that. put your arms out straight. Whoop, whoop. That's it? Yeah, it's better. This is something I've not seen before. This is really cool. So what they've done is they've cut that piece out of that block there. And replaced it for me. And turned it into a seat. They put the cut out bit there. And they which replaced is really it cool. for me, so. Yeah, apparently I was Katie reckon they they put it there for her. No. Oh, I don't no, think so somehow. It hurts. It looks more like a bazooka was fired at it. So there's still so much around here. There's bits everywhere. Dad, is my hair wavy? What? My hair looks wavy. Wavy? Yeah. Yeah, it is a little bit. Probably because I got out of the shower and put it straight into the flat, so. That probably would do it. You've been doing lots of hairdressing, haven't you, at home? You've got a. You've got um, styling a. Styling head. Styling head, she's learned. I've learned how to do a Dutch braid, French braid fish towel yeah my next one is um a four strand braid yeah and you've done some new ones didn't you that there isn't a name for you just made up as you went along i've done an infinity bomb where basically yeah. i was literally just like a small french braid and then then i continued the braid without and had any adding any hair but then with the excess hair i put it into a fish towel yeah. twist the fish towel up put it into a bar and grab the Plat, twist it round, tuck it in. We'll Infinity to, bun. We'll have to show. We'll have to film it, won't we? When you do it. I'm getting quicker. Yeah, and you're getting. See what? What do we always teach you? What have we always told you? If you can't do something straight away. You just need to practice, and also. And practice makes, makes perfect. And also, if, if I say foul, I'm technically doing making myself do something because foul actually mean well it don't actually mean but first attempt in learning yeah exactly so if you do if you can't do it the first time well then that's just your first attempt i learned how to do a dutch braid first but then ever since i learned how to do a french braid i cannot do dutch braids no. mad's having a rest over there <laughs> give it up <laughs> to what mad I just find Dutch yeah. braids are harder because you have to put it underneath the middle strand but French is easier because you just do it like a normal braid but just add in air in. Yeah. So there you go. This is what so even though that we're not actually out and about, Katie is still learning. Doing her hair and everything else. We'll have to give it we'll have to film it a bit. We are now on a bit more of an even path so we can like get around a bit better lee's back there filming some rock monument thing i'm not sure what it is uh, and we're in the what they call the meadows now um the bit we was in was called the woodland and that was very very bumpy and and stuff like that And I think there's another one called the Arboretum or Arbitorium or something like that, which I think used to be the uh, old site for Maidstone Zoo. News to me because I didn't even know Maidstone had a zoo years ago. Oh, look at all these conkers on the thing. All these conkers and chestnuts and stuff on the ground come across this mad suffering a little bit with her legs at the moment i'm not sure what's going on 
don't know what this is. There's no signage to say what it is. It's just kind of a little bent thing. But I can, you can bet your life that Kadia will climb all over it. Probably. She'll think it's something to kind of swing on. But it's absolutely beautiful here. The meadows. Lots of benches to sit, just sit and take in the scenery. Over there, you got obviously the woodlands. I've had to just swap over one of my batteries for Lee's batteries because my battery was on red. Um, so I've just swapped one of my batteries with his battery because we've got the same chair um, and it's taken it back up to three yellow three yellow light so you can actually you can actually obviously switch switch the um, switch the batteries over so we can kind of swap and change and the chairs run on just one battery if if you if need be so it looks like we found a golf course which is a bit strange because we didn't know that there was one of them here I don't know what that is what's that oh arbor arbitorium at cob tree oh, i don't know what that i don't even know what that means what's that oh, there's a building over there as well yeah i don't know if that's to do with this i'll have a look at that in a minute i know obviously i'd take I presume Louise has turned around and told you about her battery issues. Yeah. Um, so we'll probably leave. She won't be going to places like that. It looks like I'll be going across the grass and <laughs> looking at them blitz. Yeah, I've got... It's looking like up to three. Whatever, I don't, I don't know what, what I'm doing. What are you trying to do? But it's still the good thing with these chairs. Oh, they are good. The way you can obviously swap the batteries out is a really cool it's idea. Walking through it. So this is another random piece of uh, art. This is called Elephant Llama Bear. I don't know what it is, but yeah. We've got some really nice things there. But you've got, it's such a big place. You've got, uh, you've got to go around and look for these things because some of them are, are a bit hidden like this one this seat was presented by the Cobb Tree Charity Trust Limited in recognition of the esteemed service of by Roger Hext Chairman of Trustees from the 19th of October 2015 to the 6th of July 2020 so it's nice to have an achievement I suppose with get a, a bench with a plaque on it in in a park somewhere a bit nice thing to do so we're gonna head down this way not sure what's down here um, but I can see a building but what it does I, I really don't know um, I felt a speck I'm sure I just felt a speck. I, I love sunshine. Yeah, it is lovely, but I, I'm sure I just felt uh, oh, yeah, I just one, felt odd, one odd speck. Yeah, I just felt it. I, I think it's going to rain, but uh, yeah. Oh, I'm seeing a sloth! Dad? Yeah. That face. <laughs> <laughs> That's an old zoo building. Yeah. That's where the sloths and monkeys used to be. It's got to be something like that, isn't it? It's another sloth. Yes. And Martha. Martha Pauline. Let's go around. Let's kind of have a look around the front. Oh, here we go. Okay, so Hugh Gerard Fire Drake began collecting wild animals in 1900, and by the First World War had one of the largest private menageries in the country. The animals were first shown at Cobtree in the summer of 12, 1912 and again in 1913 in aid of local charities. 
in May 1914, Mr. Frederick Drake, as he then was, he was knighted in 1936, opened Maidstone Zoological and Pleasure Gardens at Tovel Court, and 250 animals were moved from Cobtree to Tovel. The war caused the closure of the zoo at Tobol in 1915 and the number of animals were reduced by the sale of 50 animals to the Bronx Zoo Park in New York. After the war, collection was built up again but not kept or shown locally, being displayed mainly at the Crystal Palace from 1920 to 1933. That's where I used to come, that's where I come from, that's where I grew up, was in Crystal Palace. So that's where a lot of the animals went. So after the war, the pre-war pattern grand opening visits by royalty and show business. There were no elephants in the zoo, but during the winter, an elephant house was built for the expected arrival of two Burmese elephants in May. These were named Gert and Daisy by the comedians Elsie and Doris. During 1936, in the winter, this elephant house was built and a number of elephants increased. A baby elephant was named Sally by Gracie Fields in 1938. Rides on the elephants for a small charge were one of the attractions of adult children visiting the zoo. And this is one of the, looks like, this is still one of the buildings. This is where they used to keep the elephants. That's the doors obviously that they would have come out of. I don't know, mine won't go round that way. I'm trying to get round there. I don't think so, I think this is just a storage thing, yeah. yeah. I don't, there was a door. I think this might have been where they... I bet that's where the elephants were kept. Possibly. Or some animals were kept in there. Do you know they got moved to New York, to the Bronx? just stopped at this cafe thing behind us to get a drink um, they charge I think it's 175 for a can of drink uh, they had a, a lot to choose from it's an average price for a cafe park you go to elsewhere and it'll be like two pounds but their price isn't too bad But I think we're just going to call it a day now. Um, I think we've done most of the park walk. And then we're just going to... We may do a little bit more, but we're not sure. But my battery's dying on my chair. I think Lee's is okay, isn't ya? Battery? Oh, I've, got, I've got three lights on mine, but then that is with one of your batteries. Yeah, he's but got three lights. I love your skill. I love the way it's, you just take the battery out. Yeah, they are really and clever. And you can still... He just took one battery out and he could still move, so you can still, and that's why originally we bought that one for when we travel, um, it folds up, but guys we highly recommend, you can't take both out, uh, well, no, obviously not. <laughs> we highly recommend the folder like trekker wheelchairs for travel, but don't be fooled, they are not light are they? No. They're not light. No, no, no. They're not light at all. They're they're good for travel because they're small and they fold up rather small. Not as small as I'd like them, but they are not at all light. I think they're about. I'm not too sure how heavy they are. I'd have to look it up. But I think folded weight. I think was the folded weight of them about 33 kilos. Something like that, isn't it? Yeah. The 33 kilos for the for the folded weight, which was which is quite heavy. Um, Lee's chair got broken by British Airways. The mud guards got broken because they dragged it the wrong way. So we have to now make sure, don't we? Yeah. To what? I ain't got to any more because I took the mud guards off. Yeah, he took the mud guards off, but it's happened with mine. Um, 
probably do yours as well. Yeah, I'll probably take the mud guards off my one. But yeah, then they're a good chair and they're brilliant. How long did you get out of one charge when we went to Disney last? Oh, right. Four days, five days? Yeah. He charged it the battery fully and you get 13 miles, they say, don't they? If I remember rightly, 15 miles. we were there for how long in total? We were there for, what, a month? Or that a month. went the first time, the second no, time we went. Second yeah. time we went. Two weeks. Two weeks. You only and charged I think it once. I charged it once. Maybe yeah. twice. Yeah. yeah. So he charged it once, maybe twice. Yeah. But it was brilliant around Disney. Absolutely brilliant. And the good thing about this one versus the one he took the first time we went, uh, it goes into freewheel and it's very easy to push, isn't it? It's very light. Push. So it's like it goes from an electric wheelchair to a like freewheeling kind of thing. So it was a lot easier because the one he had the first time he went was not freewheeling. You could push it in freewheel, but it wasn't as long as you easy. Push it too fast. Yeah, you couldn't push it too fast. But yeah, we highly recommend. If you go back over our videos and look for them particular ones, you'll see what a hassle we had. With them. Yeah, it was a bit of a nightmare. We had to get someone to help. Yeah, someone from Disney helped us, didn't they? Back to the sort of trans oh, that, ticket that, transportation. That, that boat was a diamond. He pushed that so far. It was unreal. He pushed yeah. it from the park. We tried to give him some dollars, didn't yeah. we? But he wouldn't take it. All the way down to the ferry. Then he waited on the ferry with us till we got to the other side. And there was a big and hill. And then he took us up the ramp, as you all know, when you come oh, off the ferry, the ramp that goes up. Um, he took us straight up the ramp, didn't he? And then that's where he told us, said, is that good enough? Or do you want us to push into the car? And he's like, mate, you've done, done more enough, than enough. Yeah. So yeah, oh, yeah look, one. we so what well, after that trip and a bit of a disaster, we decided to buy the folder light trekker, which was a lot better. And we took <laughs> yeah, there was someone else over there with a trekker, and you can get cheaper versions offline, but these are the actual folder light trekkers, aren't they? These are the top ones, but you can get cheaper versions, but they all do the same thing to be fair, and we bought that brand new and it's brilliant isn't it yeah. you tend to use that more than your big one don't you which is he doesn't like he prefers his big chair but the battery's playing around on it you charge it put it back in the van and then it the battery dies on it um probably because it hadn't been used and when the van was in for repair the van sat in in storage didn't it or not storage it sat in the fiat dealership for <laughs> uh, 10 or 12 weeks so obviously that's not going to repel the battery either but when he downsizes to his next vehicle he's going to have to downsize anyway so but these are brilliant for traveling they're just not very light at all so we're just going to drink a drink and then we're just going to go and explore and see what else is about so i will show you the prices quickly while we're here so if you can see The prices are not actually that bad. Some bits are a bit expensive, but most of it is fine. Most of it's really good. It smells nice. It smells lovely. It looks like bees, don't it? Yeah. It looks like a magnum. Mm -hmm. no, it looks like bees. Like the... Well, of course. Yeah, it does look bit. Okay, right, let's have a look at the meals like. Oh, look at that. What? I like blueberries, so I wouldn't eat that. Mm. Oh. <laughs> See what it weighs pieces, the kids. You used to nick your food off of my plate, you wouldn't eat it on your own. There's a like, what do they call these things? I can't remember. No, these oh, things. Um, I think they call it a snake swing or something like that. I can't remember what they call it. So I'll show you what I mean. And if you know what it's called, then comment below. These things, guys, I don't know what they're called. See, it's tucked out the way, right in the corner of the park. Well then. Oh. 
And Kenzie, it has to be a, a adventurous and stand up, don't you, Kenz? So if you know what they're called, comment below, but I don't know what they're called. Horse swing, that's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> so we've just come down to, where's this called? Allington Lock. Yeah. Allington Lock. Well, I thought we'd come down and see the boats and you get boat tours here. The last boat tour does not return to the So it's called the Kentish Lady, Kentish Lady River Cruises Maidstone. Kentish Lady, one hour return trips. I don't know how much it is. But, oh, there's a QR code that you can scan, and this is where you board. But you've got all the boats and stuff along here. I've never been down here before, so I don't actually know what's down here. But is that Allington Lock? Huh? Is that Allington Lock? No. That's the lock, is it? Well, you can have to go through it. Yeah. Certain times of the day. Because when the time goes out, yeah. this stays warm. But that doesn't. The other side of that lock there, that drains completely out and just ends up ah, just mud. Ah, okay. So, I don't know if you heard that, but according to Lee, the lock, you, the Allenton lock, you can only use at certain times of the day because this will stay water, but that over there won't. It will completely drain down. Um, so yes, I've never been here. I didn't even know this was here. I mean, I've lived, I've lived in the southeast England for well, twenty odd, twenty five years. I didn't even know this was here. So you're right. Katie fell over, um, like and caught a, a leg on some, like um, they weren't thistles. They were just. <laughs> normal leaves but it's really itching our legs so we're gonna go for a walk and see what we can find in that but there's some beautiful boats here Cody a feather below we've now walked over to actually where the lock actually is and it's actually quite interesting but it's something that's never interested me going on a boat in holiday I'm scared of them I know Please don't comment in the comments, but you're going on a cruise, I know. <laughs> but it's, I, I'd like to think that's a little bit different than going on a narrow boat. But try it once. I may like it, I may not like it, but I've got to try it. I've got to try getting over my fears. But I'll show you some of the old, I think these are the old uh, like controls and stuff for the lock. So, I think these here are the old like turn things. I don't even know if they even still use them, to be fair. I'm not even sure if they still use them. I'll have to find out. But then there's there's the actual lock down there. We're gonna go look at the tide times in a minute, see if we can maybe capture the, the lock opening and closing, if there's a boat. I'm gonna walk back down here, and we're gonna walk across the actual lock, and we're gonna have a look at the tide times. But it's a beautiful day. Uh, you've got the lock keeper, Allenton lock, lock keeper on duty. So I don't know whether that's where he lives. Or not. It's very pretty down here. Very pretty. Isn't it? It's very pretty down here. Your legs still itching. I'll put some itching powder on when we get back. Um, or anti itch powder, should I say. Not itching powder. <laughs> That'd make you itch more, wouldn't it? 
so you can actually walk over the lock so you can walk over the lock yeah yeah I think so oh god over the lock <laughs> and now we're on the other side oh they actually have camping cabins at Allenton Lock don't know where they are all three And then you've got Did you know they have camping cabins here? What? Camping cabins. Huh? Yeah, look camping cabins at Allenton Lock. Okay, I didn't have them before. <laughs> This has changed so much. When's the last time I was up here? When was the last time you was up here? Uh, quite a well, few well, years we ago. Quite a few years ago. So high tide. Is 3:29 in the morning and 15:36. So uh, oh. I, I knew about 23 20 minutes. 4.2 meters. So. Interesting. We're just going to walk along the other way quickly because there's some other big, really big boats. So we're just going to walk along the other way. We found a bump. So we've got some really big boats over here. I think people live in these kind of like, they must live in these like full time. Not something I could do, but legs do itchy. <laughs> Hold on to my phone a little bit better. So it won't be dropping it and it bouncing in the water. So yeah. Oh look, okay, there, there's a cat. Cat. Yeah. It reminds me of just the cat just laying there sunbathing. <laughs> we probably don't even own it anymore. Huh? Those are some of these. We are now on the way home. We're almost home. I'm going to end the video here. It's been a good day. We've never been to that. What's it called again? Cob. Cob. Uh, Cob Manor. Cob Tree. Cob, Cob Tree Manor. Cob Tree Manor. We've never been there before, and also. I've never been to Allenton Lock either. Um, I've seen it on, I've seen like like boat locks and stuff on the TV, but I've never actually been to an actual lock. So that was quite nice to go down and see all the boats and stuff. Um, we didn't stay down there long because there was some kind of altercation going on and police and everything turn up. But yeah, it was a nice day. The sun stayed out. It did look a bit mi miserable this morning, didn't it? When we went out. So yeah. I, um, I've never been to a, the lock before, so that was quite nice to see all the boats and stuff. Oops, car come round there on the wrong side of the road. So we are going to say goodbye now and we're going to go in, we're going to have some dinner and we're just going to chill because it's been a long day. So thank you for watching. If you're new to us, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. 
if you're not new to our channel watch out for more motorhome adventures coming up very very soon and until the next video guys stay safe stay happy and we'll see you all again very soon